travel to a new destination, you want to experience local traditions, culture, and of course, local cuisine. Maltese food is rustic in character, full of flavor and color, quite typical of a Mediterranean island. In Malta and in Gozo, there are a handful of restaurants that specialize specifically in local traditional Maltese food. And we'll be seeing some of these in future episodes of Malta TV. Today we are in the village of Mosta and we will be experiencing Tamaria restaurant. Today is the protagonist, Maria Muscat. Hi. Hello, grazie. Oh, lovely to see you. Same here. Years. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming us. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to have you around. So, we came here today because we are we were speaking about uh, local cuisine earlier, and what better place? Exactly. Tamaria is known for its not only for. You know, we keep the culture through our food, but also through our music. In fact, in the background, you can hear the guitars and mandolin. And maybe also, and later on, there's going to be a wonderful Maltese folk dance. Yes, we're going to be here, and yes. we, want, we want to experience everything. Yes. The food, the dancing. We having dinner, I mean, not many places where you can go and enjoy Maltese food, Maltese music, and Maltese dancing. Yes, and that's why we're here. Today, up to today, we managed to, to obtain a great um, a, a presentation of culture and history in our food. So, um, babouche, blarioli, and uh, everything is prepared in the old traditional way, the soppa talarmla, and also uh, we present jbeina mo'liya, froja tattaria, also, and things like spinach, talinchova, pulpetti talmakku, uh, pulpetti talbakkalia, things that you don't find today. Apart from the food, um, people come here for the experience. They come for the personal touch from the family, the music. And our ambience, of and course. The ambience, the yes. ambience. The To make it even more interesting, we're one of the very few restaurants that while people, are, our guests are eating and drinking, they can also watch a wonderful performance uh, presented by myself so in different languages, depending on the, on the uh, obviously, where the guests are coming from. And uh, there's a Maltese performance in um, 18th century costume, mainly okay. Baroque. And uh, it's a wonderful performance. We have a stage that comes up. So um, as it is a big restaurant, um, can be seen from every corner of the restaurant. And so like, there's no problem. It's not so often that you find restaurants like yours with, with these recipes that are so authentic. I mean, and uh, some of them are starters, like the items I mentioned, but then as main course, we have the brajoli, the lamb for le foire, and we also have, of course, last but not least, the rabbit. And in our restaurant, we do the rabbit in three different ways. We do it fried, stewed, and also in a special way, which our chef has uh, invented, uh, off the bone, and stuffed with the rabbit liver and different nuts. It's very tasty and cooked in a delicious port wine sauce. We will hopefully be trying them later. Yes, <laughs> also um, some people would like to taste the three, and if they're a couple or two or more, we, we tend to make them share with, um, mm -hmm. different types of rabbits cooked in different ways like that. They can savor different, different ones. Different Thank you, Maria. Thank that you was very a much. pleasure. Thank you. We look forward to, to seeing the show later. Yes. And, um, Tasting some of these. Yes, we shall Maltese, be tasting the Maltese the delicacies. delicacies. Junior, who runs the Tamaria restaurant with his mother. Hi Ben. Hello, Grazie. How are you today? Very, very well, thank you. Nice to see you. Same here. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Our <laughs> London years. <laughs> um, I had the pleasure of interviewing Mummy. How lovely she is. 
definitely. I mean, Tamaria, it's named She's after the, my mom. The soul and the charisma of this place. And how and how. <laughs> People always expect to see mom yeah. uh, more than they expect to see me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak a little bit about you. Uh, what is your role in, in the business and what, what do you find most exciting about it? Well, I'm here behind the scenes getting everything organized, especially on our many busy, busy nights, so I should be looking that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, there's a lot of organizing, uh, especially in our restaurant, which, is, which takes up to 200 covers. So, uh, and we have a diversity of uh, things, which include our entertainment evenings, they include our buffets, our banquets, our weddings, our corporate events. So there's a lot to do behind the scenes. Okay. But what is most exciting is when I'm on the floor greeting customers, welcoming them, explaining what our menu has to offer, what Malta has to offer in terms of uh, the Maltese traditions, in our food, in our culture, in our wines, and also in our place with our entertainment, where we have our folk evenings, our strolling musicians. So you're busy every day greeting people, Absolutely. marketing the place. So the exciting part is actually having our guests here, um, giving, uh, showing them what we have to offer, our Maltese uh, products, our Maltese food, and giving them the, that service with a smile, which Malta is renowned for, our warm Maltese hospitality. Ben, you've uh, lived abroad and you've traveled to many places around the world, but there's no place like home, Vera. Absolutely. And what do you think that uh, brings so many more tourists to Malta year after year? I mean, many people mention the sun and sea, which okay, is a very important factor. Uh, but I think what really makes Malta distinguishable is uh, our warmth as a people. I mean, I keep on meeting uh, many clients and they love the way we, we treat them. Yeah. Um, we have such an immense culture, such an immense history, and it's all within reach. So, you know, people don't have to travel far to see the beautiful prehistoric temples in Dina uh, and so much that there is to see in Malta. So there's a lot of culture. There's obviously very good Maltese cuisine, many restaurants. I was going to say that, and of course the food. <laughs> <laughs> many, many restaurants offer, also offering international yes. cuisine, but I obviously have great pride that we offer the Maltese yes. food product, the Maltese culture and the Maltese wine. So I take great pride in that. So that's why I think... And you should. Yes, and <laughs> it, how. Uh, in fact, um, this uh, restaurant has won nine or ten awards oh, yes, consecutively. We've been, we've been winning awards now for the past 12 years. <laughs> Um, uh, yes, it's, we're very proud to receive these awards because uh, they are actually rated by clients that come to our restaurant and are saying that we're doing a good job. So a lot of hard effort, effort involved and we're being recognized with all these uh, best Maltese food restaurants. Uh, this year we've been rated as one of the top 10 uh, restaurants in Malta. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Even recently we got uh, certified by the Malta Tourist Authority as a quality assured restaurant so we meet all the standards excellent uh, you know from answering the phone to greeting guests to serving obviously excellent food uh, you know to the very final stages even in presenting a bill so um, you know I well think done after 51 years uh, <laughs> with our restaurant uh, being open we're we're doing uh, yes. we and seem it's, to be doing a, a good it's, job it's uh, obviously a very good job that you as management and mommy is doing and of all the staff that you employ because oh, it's it's a whole team effort right uh, we would be do none of be doing none of this if it wasn't with our uh, team of staff we have a very very good team they're dedicated they're loyal uh, and proud in what tamaria is all about wow <laughs> okay so i cannot wait to try these delicacies so let's go and head to table and try a bit of everything <laughs> 